Madam Secretary, always a pleasure to see you. How have you been? Very good, thank you. That's excellent. Chairman, um, Chairman's doing some different things this year, and I have your printed testimony and much appreciative. One of the things I wanted to pose to you is the governor's proposal to hike the minimum wage from seven and a quarter to $12 an hour. I only have two questions. Um, the first is the last time we looked at doing this, I believe, was 2010. Is that, I'm, I'm not sure about that. But it was sometime around then, and when we did this, or pardon me, 2014, um, the Congressional Budget Office estimated that raising the minimum wage to 1010, less than the 12 that's being proposed, would decrease nationally about 500,000 jobs and in the Commonwealth about 20,000 jobs. Have you done a study on job losses that would occur if we went from seven and a quarter to $12 per hour as a minimum wage? Um, thank you, Representative Pyle. Um, as you mentioned, the governor has proposed that in the past, uh, that we go to 1010. This year he's proposing that we go to $12 an hour. The department very much supports that um, initiative. With regard to the impact, um, there are a lot of different ways to measure that. I know that you're not uh, unfamiliar um, with that. There, are, there have been a lot of measurements over the years. Uh, I did not personally do a study at the Department of Labor and Industry, although our minimum wage advisory board does do a report on minimum wage, and that report actually is coming out um, in the next week. It doesn't directly address your question, but there are a lot of national reports that are out there on the impact of raising the minimum wage. I think we can all be honest and say that you can find a study that will support whatever your position is, but it's the position of this administration, which I support, that raising the minimum wage so that families who work hard can provide for their uh, uh, needs is an important thing to do, and I know you heard from the Revenue Secretary with regard to the impact uh, that the Governor's Office has estimated that will have on budget revenues um, as well. I do know that in Pennsylvania we have in the past raised the minimum wage. Uh, we haven't done it since 2007, I believe, but every time Pennsylvania has raised the minimum wage as well as every other state has raised the minimum wage, the arguments about job loss get made and after a uh, short-term adjustment usually the job growth uh, continues and that's what we're expecting will happen here. Second question, Chairman. You serious? I am. You don't think that when we raise the minimum wage from seven and a quarter to $12 an hour, given the inference of the Affordable Care Act, which is cutting down small business like me mowing grass, we are losing small businesses by the slew, to use a technical phrase, and you don't think taking a minimum wage from seven and a quarter to $12 an hour is going to result in job losses. In, in all honesty, ma'am, and I know you, if you tell me you think that's a correct statement, I'll believe you. Okay. As I said, I believe there will be short-term adjustments. It happens in the economy no matter what kind of changes are made. But in the long term, I think it will be good for people, it will be good for family, it will be good for businesses, and it will grow our economy. Thank you, Chairman. That will conclude my questions.